when you're looking at a 30th anniversary release, I, how much do you have to l go back and look at all the old footage and go, okay, you know, as far as picking out the new special features and things like that, is it, were there things that came right to mind or was it all stuff that you had to go through the archives? Well, I have a, a good team at mm -hmm. Lightstorm and uh, we really thrive on special editions and, and you know, archiving it and creating, uh, you know, creating a good kind of user-friendly way to get into it and, and all that. And But it was Fox that pitched to us uh, doing, you know, the, the 30th anniversary yeah. disc set and um, and they said, "Hey, what if we included some of your artwork?" And of course, I suckered for that right away, <laughs> you know, because that had not really been. So they're doing they're doing a set of art cards that go with it that are of the design work that I did. Obviously, we had two other great designers on right. the film, Sid Mead and, and Ron Cobb, but I was like the third leg of the stool, if you will, yeah. of, the, of the design team, and uh, and Stan Winston as well on the creatures on the creature side. So yeah, so um, you know, the, we're going to offer it as a uh, uh, instead of. D deleted scenes. It'll be a continuous play special edition that's got all the uh, scenes added back, like um, Ripley's daughter and the and the you know the the smart guns, the sentry guns, and all that stuff. So you can watch a version of the movie that's 20 minutes longer, basically. <laughs> so you can you can shit yourself even more. You know. <laughs> Uh, it, both of you have worked on so many seminal franchises and so many franchises that wound up shaping the way we look at sci-fi today. What makes Aliens stand out to you compared to some of the other things that you've worked on? I think Aliens really stands up. I don't look at the film and go, oh, you know, I wish Cringe. we had yeah. done that differently or if only we could have done it today, we could have gotten it right, right. or if we'd cast a different actor, you know. Um, we had the perfect cast. It was the perfect cast. And, uh, you know, and the, the technology that we had at the time not only sufficed, but, you know, as Jim's been mm -hmm. saying, created a mood and an atmosphere because you had to hide what you <laughs> didn't want to show because yeah. you couldn't, you couldn't, you know, shine a spotlight on the effects. It was rubber. It was guys with hand puppets. It was guys with fishing line pulling tails and things. You couldn't light it very strongly. So, <laughs> so there was a lot of steam and smoke wow. and fire and things to hide it. But it created a moodiness that you don't see as much these days. You know, because now you can just put everything out in front. You know, an alien queen can run in the room and run around. And, you know, and, and, and even the technique we used in post production, the CRI. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nobody, I mean, this is all ancient stuff, yeah. you know. But the, the thing that I find as a filmmaker is the techniques change, but the challenge is the same. Tell a great story with a good cast that is surprising to people and yet not so unexpected that it's a kick in the teeth, especially to a sequel audience. They have to feel that they're being honored and respected. And I think, I think Aliens did that. You know, and, and Aliens is not a remake. You know, Jim very consciously said, you know, I want to make a combat film dealing with, you know, post-traumatic stress. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As he said, um, you know, the Vietnam War vets, you know, had come back and were dealing with these issues. Um, and that's where Ripley starts. Right. She's been to that planet. And she's only going to go back because if there are people alive, she needs to save them. And no one believes her. No one believes her story. Yeah. So she has to. Uh, so, um, you know, and, and in addition to that, it's, um, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a film in which a horror film, a horror sci-fi film for the first time, received seven Academy Award nominations, including Best Actress. Yeah, that was unprecedented in its time. Uh, we wouldn't think twice about it today because <laughs> these genres have become more accepted as the... As, the, as you look around <laughs> here, yeah. Well, yes, and, and, <laughs> and the primary revenue generators for the entire film industry, but at the time, they were much more of an outlier. It was actually Star Wars that first woke all the studio heads up out of their long dormancy <laughs> that, that you could actually make money with this sci-fi stuff. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for your time.